Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 28th of January, getting set to cruise into a weekend that should feature highs tomorrow. Over 60, and I think that'll make everybody happy. Then next week, more big changes. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, the Birmingham Skycam. That is the City Federal Building in downtown Birmingham. Way back when, I used to work in the penthouse of that building up there in the Top floor at uh, WSGN Radio. And probably I'm the oldest guy around and nobody else remembers that. But that was quite a place to work back in the uh, 70s. Look at uh, the Inverness Skycam. That's U.S. Highway 280. A few people out there at 5 o'clock. Not very many. And from the campus of the University of Montevallo, all is quiet early this Friday morning. Still got the western ridge and the eastern trough, but the pattern will de-amplify to some degree over the weekend, allowing for a nice warm-up. Numbers this morning really all over the board. Uh, Tuscaloosa, the cold spot of all places, at 30. Gadsden is at 43 in the warm spot. And it's all a matter of uh, clouds and wind. But again, everybody should rise into the upper 50s today. Going to feel pretty good around the nation. It's cold, but nothing excessively cold for late January. And the watch warning map, nice and quiet. Got a handful of winter weather advisories up north for a clipper that came down uh, last night from uh, Canada. And, of course, all of that stayed well to the north of here. There's the rain for the next five days. Look at the numbers beginning to ramp up around uh, Houston and Lake Charles. That's over three inches there. And we might be setting up for a pretty good rain event here by Tuesday, Tuesday night, or Wednesday morning of next week. This is valid through uh, Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, so the heaviest rain for us more than likely will be just after this period. And there could be some thunder involved. Let's look at the uh, GFS. This is the 06Z run valid at noon today. You see the clipper coming through the mid-Atlantic coast region, and all of that stays north of us. Some light snow for the places that don't need it. On top of the big snowpack over uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and uh, Philadelphia, they'll pick up another inch or so today. But down here, weather looks great. We'll uh, forecast a good supply of sunshine with readings in the 50s. The uh, NAM is at 58. The GFS is at 53. Pretty similar to yesterday. Uh, and then tomorrow, the big warm-up kicks in. We're talking mid-60s. The uh, GFS is at 65. The NAM is still very warm at 69. Uh, we'll, we'll shoot for the mid-60s with the sky being partly to mostly sunny. Now, Sunday, you can see some energy coming through the uh, southern stream there right on top of us, and that will bring some clouds and maybe a little light rain. Not much, but we'll mention that possibility. And again, we think the high will be at or just over 60 on Sunday. And then Monday of next week, boy, what a battle shaping up. Got that cold 1,048 millibar high coming across the Canadian border. And down here, it's mild and still some chance of light rain. Tuesday, the big trough sets up back off to the west. You got the polar vortex over Hudson Bay. Down below that, a whopper of a winter storm begins over parts of Oklahoma and Kansas and the Texas panhandle. Very cold high sitting over the Dakotas. But around here, we stay mild. Rain is increasing off to the west, and uh, that will be moving in here Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, uh, the uh, GFS depicts a surface low well to the north of us. So obviously no winter weather mischief here on Groundhog's Day. The uh, surface low is in Cincinnati with a trailing cold front coming in here. And again, that might be a thunderstorm set up for Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. And then Thursday... It turns colder, but not the, the, the brunt of the cold air wants to drop down there in the Texas, and there's a week from today looking cool and dry. Now, let's take the uh, European solution for next week. This is uh, Monday. A little lead wave is beginning to exit. It's suggesting there could be some rain Sunday night or early Monday with that feature. And Tuesday, there's your big storm uh, cranking up. And again, that could be some really heavy snow. The, the, the European is farther north. It's suggesting the big snows would be over uh, Kansas and maybe Nebraska with this feature. And then Wednesday, it's pretty much winding down for us with the surface low again up there near Indianapolis. 
And with the models trending in this pattern with the surface low, again, that might open the door for some thunderstorms, heavy rain, and who knows, maybe uh, even a severe weather issue for parts of South Alabama near the Gulf Coast. So uh, we'll see. But notice how the very cold air really floods down into Texas instead of Alabama and uh, Thursday of next week. It's like the GFS. It's it's much colder, but really not as cold as it could be. And then Friday, we start to warm up again. So uh, we have seen some runs where it turns really cold Thursday and Friday. These runs, it's cool, but not that bad. We'll go out there to the uh, 10th of February. That's an interesting look. Uh, again, still the polar vortex north of us. Strong southwest flow aloft, and that looks mischievous. Look at the 1,052 millibar high over British Columbia. Goodness. And that almost looks icy out there. And then on the 12th, it's still uh, cold but dry. So, again, you, you see we, we get the idea of temperatures really after maybe the middle of next week. We'll kind of go back to the below normal phase. But how cold? It remains kind of muddy. It's a challenging forecast pattern. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here uh, will be later today by 3.30 or so. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.